As part of the annual meeting of the Board of Governors of AIAB, President Shavkat Mirziyoyev met with the President of this leading international financial institution, Jin Lee Kun. At the beginning of the meeting, the head of AIAB expressed deep gratitude to the leader of the country for his comprehensive support in organizing the bank's main event in Samarkand and reaffirmed the bank's strong commitment to further supporting the irreversible reforms in Uzbekistan. Practical aspects of the full-scale cooperation between Uzbekistan and the AIAB were discussed. The project portfolio has exceeded $3 billion, making Uzbekistan the main beneficiary of AIAB in the region and the sixth largest globally in terms of operations. Important projects in transport, energy, healthcare, agriculture, infrastructure, public services and entrepreneurship development are being implemented. The President of Uzbekistan proposed initiating the preparations of strategic partnership program with AIAB in infrastructure development until 2030. Priority areas were identified. These include poverty reduction, the construction of new Tashkent, support for public-private partnership and private sector projects, reforms in education and the modernization of water, transport and energy infrastructure. Particular attention was given to advancing major infrastructure projects in Central Asian region. At the end of the meeting, in the presence of the head of state, an updated roadmap until 2026 was signed, featuring prospective projects worth over $4 billion. President Shavkat Mirziyoyev has met with the Chinese Finance Minister Lang Feng at the annual meeting of the AIIB Board of Governors held in Samarkand. The Chinese Finance Minister conveyed warm greetings and the best wishes from the President of China, Xi Jinping, to the head of state. The issues of further deepening Uzbek-Chinese relations of all weather strategic partnership and expansion of multifaceted cooperation in the context of agreements at the highest level have been considered. Particular attention was paid to strengthening partnership with China's leading banking and financial institutions, support and promotion of priority investment projects. President Shavkat Mirziyoyev met with a delegation of India headed by the Ministry of Finance and Corporate Affairs near Mala Sitharaman on the margins of the ninth session of the AIB Board of Governors. At the beginning of the meeting, the minister conveyed to the head of state sincere greetings and the best wishes of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The sides considered issues of further development of Uzbek-Indian relations of strategic partnership and multifaceted cooperation in line with the agreements at the highest level. The sides stressed the importance of through preparations and holding of the next meeting of the Intergovernmental Commission in November this year and adoption of the industrial cooperation program within this framework. Particular attention was paid to the implementation of projects in energy, petrochemicals, digitalization, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, as well as the development of transport corridors. President Shavkat Mirziyoyev has received a delegation of the state of Qatar headed by the finance minister Ali bin Ahmad al kuwari attending the meeting of Board of Governors of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. At the beginning of the meeting, Ali al kuwari conveyed greetings and best wishes of the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad al Thani, to the leader of Uzbekistan. The side discussed issues of further expansion of bilateral mutual beneficial cooperation, primarily in the trade and economic sphere. The importance of promoting projects in the field of green energy, transportation, healthcare, tourism, infrastructure development, and other areas that are emphasized. It was noted that the meeting of the Intergovernmental Commission and Joint Business Forum will be held in Doha by the end of the year. Attention was paid to the issues of intensification of cultural and humanitarian exchange. President Shavkat Mirziyoyev has received Chief Investment Officer of Franklin Templeton, Manraj Sahon, attending the annual meeting of the Board of Gardeners of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Franklin Templeton is one of the largest global asset management companies. It has more than 100 offices in 30 countries. In the course of the meeting, the issues of development of the National Investment Fund of Uzbekistan, transformation of strategic state-owned enterprises, and placement of their shares on the stock markets were discussed. Interest Interest in implementation of programs to provide efficiency of state-owned enterprises, development of capital market and implementation of people's IPOs was noted. We had an excellent meeting with His Excellency the President. We talked about the reform agenda that he is building and driving in Uzbekistan and we also talked about the plans to build a national investment fund to improve the performance of state-owned enterprises and also to list a national investment fund in Tashkent. President Shavkat Mirziyoyev met with the founder and CEO of Leselsberger Group, Joseph Leselsberger, on the sidelines of the annual meeting of the Board of Governors of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Leselsberger Group, established in 1957, is the leading European manufacturer of building materials, ceramics and mineral products, with the annual turnover of $20 billion. During the meeting, the issues of practical implementation of high-tech projects in building materials industry were discussed. 
currently the projects of production of dry mixes in Samarkand region. Marble processing in Kashkadaria region are being implemented. An agreement was reached to accelerate new projects on production of high-purity aluminum and metacaulin, Brooklyn stoneware, paint products and fiber cement. President Shavkat Mirziyoyev met with the Muhammad Abu Nayan, co-chairman of the Uzbek Saudi Business Council, chairman of the Board of Aqua Power, as part of the program of the annual meeting of the AIIB. The sites discussed issues of further expansion of practical cooperation with Saudi companies, including the progress in the implementation of joint investment projects. The head of state noted that successful partnership with Aqua Power in the implementation of large-scale projects, as well as the key role of the company in attracting Saudi investment in Uzbekistan. The agreement was reached to speed up the implementation of joint projects in the development of energy, transport, information technologies, healthcare, modernization of heat supply networks, water, agriculture and other areas. The trip to Samarkand ended here and the head of state returned to Tashkent.